Hello, amazing, amazing human beings. It's so good to be with you. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. We have a great weekend coming up and this week is actually Red Ribbon Week. So we're gonna spend time celebrating Red Ribbon Week by focusing on making good choices. That's gonna be the topic for the whole week. Making good choices, responsible decision-making, really focusing on how choices are a big deal. When we talk about choices, it's not only about the power of our words like we did last week, right? Or the power of our actions. We're also talking about choices that affect everything from our mind, like what we listen to to our hearts, right? That's also doing what we listen to, to our body as well, like what we take into our body, making good choices that regard anything from what we eat to what we listen to, to how we speak to people or anything that we put into our body. So we have to make sure that we make amazing choices. We're gonna be spending this week, um, well, today talking about a really cool video that I found through Kid President who I love and let's look at it together. I'm gonna share my screen. And it's called Making Tough Choices. Let me raise my volume. And let's watch Kid President. You know what time it is? Decision time. But also, you got a decision to make. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. You make decisions all the time. Like what to eat, what to buy, what to wear, how to spend your time, who to spend your time with, what you're gonna say, how you're gonna say it, whether or not you put on the dinosaur costume and escape from town. Hey, it's an option and I'm proud of it. Researchers found this. We make thousands of choices each day. Thousands of them. In fact, the more responsibilities that you have, the more choices you have to make. There's options all up in your face all the time. And on top of all this, with each choice comes a consequence. Every choice that you make leads to something good or not so good. Like that old saying, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes that reason is you ate a whole roll of Oreos in one city. If you excuse me, I gotta take a break. Okay, I'm back. Ugh, that was a bad decision. If you're watching this video, that means you're awesome. Congrats. You're awesome. How will you make awesome choices? Here's a few choices for how you can make choices. You could be impulsive. Don't even think about it. Just mindlessly point, pick, and do whatever. Disclaimer, I don't recommend this choice for making choices. Now, you can do it, but it'll lead to mixed results. It's especially dangerous while picking your wardrobe or diffusing a bone. Can't be impulsive then. Another choice you have when making choices, don't do anything. This is a choice to not make any choices, which is a poor choice. Just stand there, wait, do nothing. It's an option, it's always an option. You could say nothing, do nothing, but uh, fair warning, then you'll be nothing. Just saying. Another choice for how you can make a choice. Just be a follower. Yeah, just do what everyone else is doing. When you're a follower, you don't really have to think. It's really simple. Just look around, see what everyone else is doing. Is everyone just complaining about something? You can do that too. Is everyone doing what everyone else is doing? You can do that too. Is everyone eating an entire row of Oreos in one ceiling? Just do that. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm back. I have to make better choices. For being a follower, you can make that choice. It's just a really big problem with that. The world needs you. So how's about this? Focus on being someone worth following. I like that choice. When you're a choice how you can make your choices, be thoughtful. Warning, this requires thinking. It takes some thought to be thoughtful. But thinking, that's something we should do more often. Think about, what do I care about? What's important to me? What kind of world do I want to live in? Do my choices help create that world? I want to live in a world with more dancing. So what do I do? A little bit of dancing. The choices you make help make the world. All of us together make big choices sometimes too. Like we all try to come together and make a big decision. Like in an election, who will lead our country? That's a big decision. Whatever happens there, there's something that you can't forget. Just how powerful you are. There are no small people and there are no small choices. You, you're making big choices every single day and they make a big difference. Whether you're president in a big fancy old office or not the president, or just came with a camp phone and some cardboard, your choices matter on election day and every single day. Real change happens right in your backyard. The little decisions that you think are little are actually a really big deal. The choices we make make our lives. In your life, it's an awesome one. 
Make the kind of choices that are worthy of that awesome life. I'm gonna make a decision right now. This world needs a little more dancing, so I'm gonna dance right now. <laughs> And who doesn't love a little bit of dancing? I love Kid President. So we want to really focus on making good choices, responsible decision making, um, be worth following, be a person who's worth following. Don't be a follower, be thoughtful in your decisions and what you're doing and the decisions that you're making. And remember how powerful you are, right? And in that power, you're going to get people that are going to want to follow your lead. So make sure that you're a person that's worth following. Have an amazing, amazing day.